Let's talk about the Pretenders because it's such a revolutionary, uh, such a revolutionary band. Whether you intended it to be or not, you're in the band. Revolution's good. Yeah, three guys. <laughs> um, I think we have a picture here of the classic. Uh, this is the lineup: Pete Farndon, <laughs> Martin Chambers, James Honeyman Scott. Yeah. Did you guys? It, it always. I was very impressed that some bands might, especially at that time, or even today, might tout. Oh, it's a woman. It's a it's a gender thing. That was never interesting interesting to you. Like you didn't care. It didn't seem like anyone in the band cared. This is a woman. We're a man, or they're a man. I'm a woman. Yeah. No. You know. Th I think it's a myth that's created outside of music because, uh, you know, in music people just want to. It's about the sound. Mm -hmm. And as long as everyone's sounding like they want to sound, everyone's happy with that. Right. And you know, I, I was good at bringing out the best in those guys. So they were just glad for that. And the gender thing. They probably thought it was a pain in the ass, to be honest. I'm sure they did. But you know, um, you know, the band was great. Yeah, I was. Yeah. I was a great band leader. The. I mean, we'd do television, and my hair would be sticking out in the back, and then later I'd see a clip, and I think, why didn't anyone tell me that? And I knew they were all having a, you know, a laugh at my expense. But. <laughs> you know what's funny is the you when, when MTV first launched, uh, you the Pretenders were on heavy rotation, tons of hits, great videos. But you weren't comfortable with that. See, the, it looked like there was a, uh, a lot of English bands making videos when MTV started. But it's because in England there was uh, these kids shows. And sometimes you couldn't make it to do the kids shows. So we made little clips to put on the kids shows. Mm -hmm. Then MTV started and everyone, the only people that had uh, made these clips were English bands. So it looked like there was an invasion. That's, I never knew that. Yeah, that's yeah. true. So and then the Americans all the early up. ones were predominantly yeah. English bands. That's only because we made them for all these kids shows, Tiz Waz and other shows. But we hated it, and we weren't comfortable because we thought when we got in bands that you could just be ugly and be on a band. And first of all, you're six foot taller than anyone else because you're already you're used to that. But you're we're all you're already on a stage, so people are looking up. So you don't really have to have confidence. They're already right. looking up, and right. it's kind of a bluff. And you didn't have to worry about how you look too much because they're kind of far away. And suddenly, it was videos, and everyone got right up your snout, you know. And that yeah. was like not not the thing. We, you, we hated it. Can you look at them now and no. with, you really still please can. don't show one. No, 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 no. no. I, <laughs> I'd have to pay you if I did. Uh, <laughs> show one. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, you didn't know that, did you? I, I was. Uh, I, I remembered very clearly because when MTV first hit, like anyone might, we all, all my friends and I just gather around the TV and would and would watch it. And I remember you had a, a video where you had the mirror. You had a, a, a mirror. Oh, the chrome scratch plate. The chrome scratch plate. And I remember thinking, because I'm a guitar buff, that is the coolest thing in the world. And you said that it actually came in useful to have a reflective plate. Well, you can pick out, if you have the chrome scratch, first of all, I could always flip the guitar over and see if my makeup was all over my face. <laughs> so it was kind of a vanity it thing. It was a vanity so mirror, check yeah. My eye yeah. And also, uh, I could catch the lights, and you could, I could see if there was a cute guy in the audience. I could, like, you know, watch him all night. <laughs> Yeah. The only problem is that if it's an outdoor venue, you, if it's an outdoor venue, you could set him on fire. <laughs> That's a cute guy. <laughs>